Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to my channel. Today we are six weeks out to Arnold Classic, and I'm um, here the Iron University training glutes today. So the guys here. What up? <laughs> Um, so we're going to um, just go through the, the whole workout. I hope you guys catch all the tips. Um, and we're going to start here at um, the glute here. So she's so she's going to do six sets of 15 repetitions. The first three sets primarily are going to be on here, and we're going to progressive overload each set. And then the last three sets, we're going to superset it with uh, banded side to side. Uh, lateral walks and then after that I think we're gonna go into a hip thrust and then we'll look at the page what she has to do next so start here 12 on that one and then 12 on the first one I know you like the first one too. just 12 towards just a little more So change of plans. This is where she lets me tweak, or we both, you know, tweak stuff. And her coach back in uh, Brazil, Diego, tells her, you know, whatever. If you guys want to tweak something, tweak something. So all we're doing is changing the foot placement on the machine. She's gonna do 10 reps over here, and then 10 reps over here, instead of just doing 15 reps with one foot position, because she feels it in different areas and she enjoys it. So we're just gonna stick with that. One, two. tell her to, to rest like three to four minutes in between each set so she has more time to recover so she can lift heavier for each and every set. This is, um, this is the pre workout get so we have the powder um, but I really like this one because it's like a drink ready so I just live in the fridge and it's easy I can't just drink on way it tastes so good and it's already the pre workout ready to drink. One, two, three, four, five, six, come on, seven, come on, eight, nine, one more, ten, good. Go. One, two, come on, three, four, five, six. Come on, seven, eight, nine. Hold it out, hold it out, hold it out. As slow as you can, bring it in, as slow as you can. Part of the glute, feel everything here. The last three sets, you're gonna superset it with this. But you're gonna start with this and then go there. Oh, it's not here. And then oh. the same way. So this is what you're gonna do, okay? You're not gonna squat, you're just gonna grab sight, you're gonna push your butt back just a little bit, okay? All you're doing is leading with the knee. All right, yes, not your foot, but that, you're going 
like that, and then this foot that follows, here. Not in here, because then now there's no resistance around the band, okay? So we're gonna go here, here, that's one, okay? Left and right equals one. We're doing that 20 times, and then going in there, okay? Four, four, five, Power, four, five, six, seven, come on, eight, nine, one more, ten, good. Come on, ready? Go! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, one more. Good. Rest. Program. He sent me the, the 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 plan, the training, and uh, what Aldo does. He follow do the plan that my coach sent to me, and uh, we always do some. He always add some codes or some things that to add a little bit more. Um, make it harder a little bit to, to intensify a little bit more the, the training especially when I, I'm already used to a little bit of the workout he always modify a little bit so my body never get comfortable and until my coach have to change the plan again so now in six weeks out for the Arnold I'm still eating um, I'm gonna talk uh, later with you guys what I'm eating and how much I'm eating but basically I'm still eating carbs every day um, this week he had one cardio so now I do one cardio faster than one even cardio 40 minutes faster 40 minutes at night but basically the food is the same eating a good amount of carbs every day um, to try still build um, but get a little leaner um, because now we're getting close to that. I'm really excited. I know this is a dream to compete in Arnold. Uh, when I got invited, I got crying. Like I, I, I couldn't believe that I'm gonna compete in the first. Uh, I know they're gonna have wellness. 
Um, so I'm really excited, I want to bring my best and I hope all these workouts, all these weeks make a good difference in physique. So now we're going to the hip thrust and um, so we have to do four sets. It's gonna be uh, the first set 20 reps and then we're going to increase the weight. We're going to do 18, increase the weight, 15 reps and then 12 reps. Um, and the heaviest that I can, so let's see. Let's see how much I can do today. From inside your butthole, use it three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, five more, five, good, four, good, three, good, two, Good. One. Oh what would you say? When she went before it, she started filming, she's like, well, look at it, it's so heavy. You just did it for 20, 20 reps, reps and it's like easy for you. What? Exactly. You see you're getting stronger. It's all in your head. Because when you think like 20 reps, you're like, damn, I'm not going to be able to do that way. But that's why he needed and with, not, with nitro first, you can do <laughs> it. Yeah. <laughs> One. Two. All the way up. Squeeze all the way through. Three. One bottle. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Ten more. Come on. Ten. Nine. Eight, all the way up, seven, up, six, five, four, three, two, one more. Good. <laughs> so instead of increasing the weight, because she's doing, she did that 18, right? She's gonna do 15 reps, but these 15 reps, since we're not increasing the weight, we're gonna make her form more technical. So she, every single rep is gonna be more effective than adding more weight and just like tossing it up. So yeah. it'll be more strict and she's her, her lockout at the top is gonna be more of a, of a hold instead of like contract and then release, contract and then release. It's gonna be contract and contract fucking harder and then control back down. Instead of contract and then release, contract and release. One, two, down. Squeeze, one, two, two. Squeeze hard, one, two, three. Squeeze hard, one, two, four. Squeeze hard, one, two, five. And wrap it out, go one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, up, seven, eight, nine. One more, 10, this shit. Keep going, 14, five more, five more, I got you. Five, four, come on, three, two, one. Good. What'd I say? What'd I say? Who won the bet? <laughs> So now we're going to do two exercises, super sad, um, to hit the, the top of the glute, um, the upper glutes. So here's my ankle straps, body by menu, that also is going to be back in the stock soon. So I'm going to do the cable glute, and we're going straight to the Smith machine, and we're going to do uh, another exercise for the upper glute. Hold as hard as you can. Squeeze. Squeeze as hard as you can. Hard. Hard. Don't do anything. Hard. 
hard, harder, hard, 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 harder. Now you're gonna control down and squeeze and kick. One, squeeze and kick. Two, from here. Three, from here first. Three, there you go, see the difference? Four, five, six, squeeze from here. Seven, eight, nine, squeeze and kick. Ten, five more. Five, harder, four, three, Two, one, good. Ten, eleven, all the way up. Twelve, thirteen, don't relax it. Fourteen, fifteen, five more. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Better? So look, when you do it, you know how you go over there and you, you push your hips into the pad and you kick? Uh -huh. Do the same thing. Hip thrust into the pad as you squeeze and kick. At the same time, so you're like hugging into the pad as you squeeze and kick. And then control that down. And then try to keep your legs over here. So sure it opens, so, cause look, you have more space for your legs to open and get more range of motion. And then squeeze. So you wanna go down as Mr. King. Bring your, I want your heels underneath here cause I don't want you like kicking like that way. I want mm -hmm. you kicking straight up. Oh, okay. okay. So just come in a little bit more underneath. So, so your you heel want is. Here or here? Yeah, yeah, up. Oh. So it's right here. This is your heel instead of your heel being over here and kicking it that way. More. So you want it here? Mm hmm. Okay. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Control it down and squeeze and kick. Go. One, two, all the way up. Three, four, five, harder. Six, all the way. Seven, all the way. Eight, nine, ten, all the way. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, all the way. Fourteen, one more, up, fifteen, good. It's tight, six, seven, eight, squeeze through, nine, 10, 11, 12, squeeze, 13, 14, five more, five, all the way up, all the way up, 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 three more, up, two more, up, one more, up, good. Should we have a lot of um, mind muscle connection? Because oh, what I, I'm seeing for all these years I'm training, I use a lot of my legs when I was training glutes. So I was using the legs to help me. Uh, so the hardest part to change the glutes is to uh, activate the glutes while you're doing the exercise. You know, using your legs while you're doing the exercise because um, the, the glutes is a small muscle comparing to your quads and your hamstrings. Uh, so in my case, uh, I have uh, so many, so much more strength in my quads and my hamstring, and uh, I was using a lot of my legs when I was doing the exercise. So now, uh, what we're doing here when we train glutes, it's focus and use only the glutes. That's why he, he reminds me all the time, squeeze. Because you have to think every time that you do a rep, you're, going, you're using your glutes, not your hamstring and your legs, your quads. So you're literally squeezing, and this way you only activate your glutes. Try to it as much as you can, so you can uh, work in the glutes, not in your legs. 
Of course, some of the size not gonna have a way, so you're gonna do here some of the size like sumo deadlift. You're gonna hit quads and hamstring too, uh, especially hamstring. But that is a way that you do, and we're gonna talk here when you do it. Like you focus only, you squeezing, so this way you're gonna hit more your glutes than your quads and your hamstrings. So it's a thing that I'm learning, and I'm seeing a lot of difference in my glutes since I start training. Focus on that. Do a sumo that lift. Um, I'm gonna do four sets of 12 reps. So literally, this is size. It's um. Uh, it's a, like you can use you can use this size to using your pads as I say. You too much your legs. But uh, the way I try, uh, the way he taught me, and I do it. Focus really on the glutes. So you really have to squeeze. So when you Go, you explain. Well, <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> the, um, this is the size how you really focus on the glutes. Oh yeah, so because I, I was using a lot of my legs, remember? The, the, the legs and the lower back, which you know a lot of people do, which is fine. But if you're trying to target your glutes, uh, the cues that I gave her were, you know, keep your chin tucked so you have a straight spine, and then instead of coming down, so you do not think about coming down in a deadlift. It's not about coming down, it's about hinging at your hips, pushing your hips back. That's not that's not going down. Down is going that, and you use your lower back to go down. So, chin tucked, push your butt back, okay? And then, in her situation, it's sumo stance. So, she's here, okay? She, this is her starting point with the barbell right here. What I tell her to do is take the bar and try and push it behind your heels. Chin tuck, push your butt back, and attempt to push that barbell behind your heels. And once you're at the bottom, you're gonna contract the bottom of your glutes. And as soon as you start contracting the bottom of your glutes, you're pressing down through your heels, pushing the ground away. So now this is a pressing exercise for your glutes instead of a pulling exercise. So she's gonna be here, initiating the movement from her glutes and then pressing with her heels instead of just Pressing with the heels. Yes, it's still gonna recruit your glutes, but this emphasizes the glutes a little bit more. Squeeze the bottom and press with the heels. Pull up. Back way up like that. That bounce it. The bar sometimes <laughs> start like uh, sliding in my hands. Um, especially by the end of this size, I'm feeling tired. And so the bar start like falling, sliding. So I'm gonna use that to try uh, feel like more firm, like in this size, give me more confidence. Because when the bar start like falling, I was like, <laughs> I said, no, it's not gonna go. So let's see. Stiff that lift and a Smith machine. I like to do in a Smith machine. Like you can do in dumbbell uh, or barbell, but I really like to do in this machine because for some way um, help me to focus in, in the glutes, especially maybe because it's it's uh, stabilized already. So 
I don't need to be worried about the bar. I literally just worry about the movement. But the, the principle of this design is basically the same one of the sumo deadlift that I just did. Uh, we're going to bring the hips uh, forward to the back. And uh, once the bar is in my limit here, my um, when I um, when the bar is like as low as I can, but keeping the the low back stable, what I'm gonna do is that you just pull the bar. I'm going to squeeze from the glutes. So we literally, it's almost like what helps me is think that I'm carrying the the bar of my glutes. So we're literally going to do, you're not gonna think about the bar, pulling the bar, you're going to lift the, the arms, relax, and just bring the glutes. So you're here, and you bring the glutes. Start all here. It's a, it's a great exercise to build the, the glute tie-in. Um, that is a, one of the, the, the criteria basically of the wellness division. So they want to see the projection of your glutes on the back pose, but they also want to see the tie-in. So this part of the glutes that connect with the hamstring and uh, the sumo deadlift and the stiff uh, deadlift is a uh, great exercise to build this low part of the glutes, the glute time. Um, if you follow like the performance, of course you're not gonna use your back, all you use is your glutes, squeezing from the glutes. Uh, it's a great exercise to build the low part of the glutes. We're doing hamstring and, and glutes and hamstring. Uh, so this is the the, um, the seated hamstring curl. I'm doing four sets of 12. Um, I always try like increase the weight. So it's out of a weight that I already know that I can do it. And uh, through the, the set, I try to increase a little bit. But I always were in the performance. Uh, Never like I always try and squeeze at the at the uh, when I bring the the weight down, squeeze as much as I can. And this way I can feel only the hamstring. Uh, that's it. The basic that works. Nothing crazy. No creations. It's the basic that works. The, what what the difference is the consistency been doing this over and over and that's how your body change there's no magic there's no magic size they're gonna change your physique what change your physique is the consistency the the performance uh, never let your body get used to or comfortable uh, so if you already doing a great performance and there's a size you can always increase your weight um, so you give your body more challenge um, but that's it it's day by day and that's how you see your physique changing so we finish it here of the standing hamstring curl i'm gonna do four sets of 12 also um, same thing basic exercise try to concentrate on the hamstring. So what I do for this exercise, I try to keep my hips uh, on a, um, like literally um, 
press the bench of my my hips in this way I focus only on the hamstring just the hamstring gonna bring the weight up So we finished here today, full glute and hamstring workout for you guys. Um, this is a six weeks out uh, to the Arnold Classic. It's gonna happen in March. I'm really excited. I can't wait to be on stage again. Um, so stay tuned, you guys, because from now on, I'm gonna update you guys about the prep, um, everything that I'm doing, how my prep, the training, the um, meal prep, how my plan is going, food, everything. I'm gonna share with you guys my journey until that. So hope you guys come here for me, uh, watch my journey, and uh, let's finish this together.